Are you looking for a way to scrape Google Maps to extract leads for your business? There are multiple tools or softwares in the market to help you to do so. But today we will be comparing two main ones, Phantom Buster and Scrap.io. Phantom Buster is an all-in-one automation and kind of web scraping tool that lets you extract data from multiple sources. I'm particularly thinking about social medias, but it can also work on Google Maps. It offers pre-made scripts that you can use to cover your data pretty much effortlessly. What you need to do is to insert a URL or a list of URLs thanks to a Google Spreadsheet. You set up your settings, you click on launch, you wait for a little bit, and finally you can export your data. Regarding Google Maps, you can collect all the data related to the business detail page. Plus, in some cases, you can also gather email addresses and social media links if the company has got a website. What I suggest you is to show you a demo and how to do so. Here we are on phantombuster.com. To be honest, it's been a while since I have been using the tool, but it's okay, we will manage it. We will only compare the free plans. And as you can see, I've got 30 minutes of execution time remaining for this month. And this execution time is related to how many phantoms I'm willing to use. And a phantom is equal to a pre-made script. With the free plan, I've only have access to a single slot, meaning to a single phantom. Let's have a look at the solutions and we are looking for a Google Maps script. So let's have a look. We've got two phantoms, Google Maps search to contact data and Google Maps search export. The Google Maps search to contact data allows you to get email addresses and social media links if available which is a good news. But the bad news is that it's considered as two slots and we only have access to a single slot. So we can't use this flow. So let's try out the second one, which is Google Maps Search Export. The issue is that we can't have access to email addresses and social media links anymore. I click on more, I can click and use this phantom. Let's see what we've got. We need to tell the phantom which Google Maps searches we would like it to scrape. So we need to insert our URL. So let's go to Google Maps and we will target restaurants near New York City. I've got my URL, I copy it and I paste it here. I click on save. The browser language will be set to EN. English. The number of spreadsheet rows to process per lunch. We don't need to fill in that. What about the number of results to scrape per search? Well, 200 is the maximum. So let's try with 100 leads. Do I need to extract GPS coordinates for each location? Why not? Result file settings. I can name my result file. Fields to keep everything. I click on save. The last step before launching our script is to launch it repeatedly or only once. So I'm going to launch it manually and I want to get a notification in case of an error. What about the advanced settings? Well, we don't need that one either. So I click on save. I click on launch. Where is my data? Well, I click on download. The only problem is that I can only download a CSV file, which is not necessarily what I'm looking for. Let's assume I want to get an Excel file instead. What I have to do is to open an Excel file, a blank Excel file. Then you need to click on data from a text slash CSV file. You select your CSV file and a few moments later, you can get your data. Let's have a look. I've got the URL of the detailed page, the title, so the company name, the rating, the review count, the category, the attribute, which should be the description, I believe, the address, the website, if there is one, plus the phone number, whether it has been claimed on Google Maps, 
the latitude and the longitude, the opening hours, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and so on. And that's it. It sounds good, but there are obviously some drawbacks. The first one is that we can't have access to the email address which could be a piece of data you might be looking for. And secondly, you cannot directly filter out your results. If you are looking for, I don't know, a restaurant with a rating between 4 and 4.5, well, you have to filter out your results afterwards, which means that it's very likely that you will have to manually remove some of your leads. On the other hand, Scrap.io offers you a no-code solution for scraping data on Google Maps. It has a very easy to use interface, which implies that anyone can use the tool without any technical experience, which is not necessarily the case on Phantom Buster. Phantom Buster does require at least a bit of knowledge. And if you don't know how to start, you might be a bit lost. What about the free plan on Scrub.io? You can get up to 100 leads for seven days, which is an interesting aspect of Scrub.io. It means that you no longer pay depending on the execution time, but you rather pay depending on the number of leads you can retrieve. You can also filter out your result in a more accurate way. You need to insert an activity. I might be looking for a restaurant, but maybe I'm looking for something a bit more specific. A rice restaurant, a tofu restaurant, a sato restaurant. You get the idea. There are around 4,000 different categories listed on Google Maps. So if you want to have a full access, We'll let your link in the description. You can also type a city. This is just for the demo and because I'm currently located in France, all the cities are French cities. And the good news is that you can get email address. You can get email addresses when there is more than one. Well, you have access to all of them. Plus, you can get social media links when they are available. What are we waiting for? If you want to use Scrap.io, you can click the link in the description or you can simply type scrub.io in your search bar. To begin with, you need to create your account, which can be done by clicking on sign up now. Once you have created your account, you will have access to your dashboard. And this is the tab in which you will be able to retrieve all your leads. In the same way as we have done previously, I can type an activity, meaning a category. I can select a country. I can select a level one division. It depends on which country you picked up, but in that case, you might be able to choose the state. I can also choose the county, which is related to the level two division, or I can target a city. Let's type New York for the sake of the example. I click on search and I will automatically have an overview of how many leads I will get and I can get up to 6,000 results. Obviously, because my plan is limited to 100, I will only have access to the first 100 rows, but it's enough to show you how to proceed. The good news is that you can filter your data in order to make sure you don't have to remove any data rows afterwards. I've got two kinds of filters, essential and advanced ones. I might want to target only restaurants as a main activity and not as a secondary category. I might want to target closed restaurants, maybe not, so I click on no. Restaurant with a website, with a phone number, why not? With an email address, with a Facebook link, well, why not? But it's not an absolute necessity. An Instagram link, a YouTube link, a Twitter link, a LinkedIn link. Well, let's say I want them to have a Facebook link. Whether the business has been claimed or Google Maps. Well, maybe I want to target those who are not claimed yet. I can choose a price range with a rating from, I don't know, 3.5 and 4.5. I can also choose the number of reviews or the number of photos whether there is a contact form on the website and also whether there is 
add pixel on the website. Let's say yes. I click on filter and I will get fewer results but much more targeted ones. Maybe it was a bit too specific. So let's try it out one more time. Maybe I want to get all of them and it's way better. If everything sounds good to me, I can click on export. I can give to my export a name. And if I click on advanced options, I will have an overview of the 70 columns I will be able to retrieve. I click on export, I see you back once I've got my results. Another good news is that I can download a CSV or Excel file. I've got the name of the company, whether it's closed or not, the main type and the secondary types. The website, the phone number, the full address, which is divided into different subtypes, meaning the division one, the division two, the street, the city, the postal code, and so on, the country, the latitude plus the longitude, the link of the Google Maps detailed page. Uh, what do we have here? We have the email address and we've got a hundred email addresses, which is correct because we have filtered our results beforehand with a Facebook link, some Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn links, a price range, the review can, review ratings, the review per score, the number of pictures, the URLs of some pictures, the occupancy, meaning the business hours, the characteristics, so what does the restaurant offer to its customers. Finally, we end up with some SEO elements. I've got the website title, if the company has got a website, with the meta keywords, the meta description, the meta image, the additional email addresses, uh, the contact pages. We already have made another video about this topic with additional social media links. Finally, there are website technologies and ad pixels. To sum up, let's consider the pros and the cons of both softwares. On the one hand, Phantom Buster can come in handy if you want to automate your task from multiple platforms. But regarding Google Maps, you need to set up your extraction, you are unable to scale at a country level, and you are unable to know lead prices before initiating your extraction. On the other hand, Scrap.io is much more useful regarding Google Maps. You can get your data with a few clicks, zero setup, real-time data, filters, country scale, and you know your lead prices before you launch an extraction. In other words, you only pay for what you need. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you want to use Scrap.io, the link remains in the description. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments, or you can directly contact our customer support. See you next time.